TV pits that whole male dominant thing, you know? I think that's like one of the reasons why I wanted to be a boy too. Cause my mom lets me stay out later, you know? Like, she's like, it's okay, she's not gonna hurt herself. Like, she's strong, like, you know? Say so it's basically a boy. I think dressing the way I dress makes her feel more comfort that like no one's not gonna kidnap me. Young butches are, are like, um, I don't know, they're very like revolutionized on some ways by, you know, the history of the old butch. You know, they look at that and they go, well, you know, I'm not really feeling all that. Like, you know, I don't want to be the only one given, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, I want to get mine too, or I want to be weak and vulnerable. You know, I don't have to always be like, you know, this facade of, you know, whatever. And, and it, just like I watched, like, you know, when I'm out or when I'm like in a group of people and I just watch how they're much more okay with going outside of the box. You know, I, I think, you know, you find, I find more, you know, young butches who are just like kind of going. Their, their expression of, you know, their, their gender expression or their whatever is much more fluid. I fear for the young butches today because the pressures that are being put on them to change into men is enormous, enormous. I've never seen it like that before. In the 70s and 80s, you hardly had any women, any lesbian that were talking about that they wanted to be men. Hardly any. So what's different today, 20, 30 years later, is, is questionable as far as, you know, are we, are, are young butchers being born in the wrong bodies, like, you know, 100,000 all at one time? I don't know. I don't think so. We give birth, we give life, we give wisdom, we give all of that. And if we learn to accept that in ourselves, whether we're butch or femme, it's gonna help every one of us, all of our family. It's all in the magazines, you know, like you see like pictures of like these women in like their Levi's and their white shirts, you know, against the wall, you know, with their hat on. We're just like, okay, so that's how it's supposed to be. And then you see a picture of like, this woman in her suit, you know, sitting in a chair, it's like, okay, so maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Like, we all have, like, these different images, and I think that, like, studs go through different stages.